What's up guys? This is Tampa Tech and this is my son Devin. What's your YouTube channel? My YouTube channel is Rockstar Gamers. I'll he'll put in the link in the description below. Yep, I'll leave a link in the video description below. And I'm having a giveaway for 2,000 subscribers. I will be giving away one PS4 game, a WWE 2K15. So if you want to win this, he'll give this to what, your 2,000 subscriber? Yes. Or you'll just choose someone random? If I get like... One like, of your subscribers. Yeah, basically, but like the one that's closest to my 2,000. Because right. if I got a couple at a time, I'll just choose whatever. And I'll mail it out for him. Now, in this video, we're going to be talking about how to convert your Amazon Fire TV remote to control your TV. You know, the on all features and volume control, stuff like that. We're gonna be attaching this universal remote to the Amazon Fire TV remote. I canceled my cable TV service and I only have Hulu TV service. So I save probably like $100 a month by doing that. And I, I had that for about like six months and it's totally worth it. But the only thing is, is you know, I couldn't, I had two remotes, one to turn on the TV and one con to control my Amazon uh, Fire TV stick. So now I have one remote, which is great. Uh, this is around $15, I believe. I'll leave a link in the video description below where to get this. Uh, this is a really awesome um, accessory for your Amazon Fire TV remote. And I'm gonna show you the old version. Last year I made a video how to um, program your remote to control your TV. This is the old version, which it no longer is available on Amazon. And probably because it had a lot of, um, quite a few returns. The issue with this one was, well, first you had a, it had a learning feature where you uh, had to learn it with your original TV remote. But the problem is with this is that the board pops out and I had to hot glue it in um, to keep it in place. Because you'll press the buttons too hard and then when you press the buttons too hard, it made this circuit board pop out from the clips. Well, that's why I hot glued it. And then it stopped it um, from doing that. And it works great, but they, I guess people didn't want to hot glue their TV remote, which I don't blame them. Yeah, they no longer sell this, so now I have a new option, which is a better option. And this was like $15, and uh, this I believe is also $15. We're gonna open it up, and now by the way, I'm gonna do a giveaway contest if you guys are interested. They sent me a bunch. <laughs> Yeah. Someone hit me up on my email and they're like, hey, you guys are interested in uh, doing a review on our t uh, TV remote. Yeah, I was like, yeah, I'm interested, but can you um, hook up my um, subscribers? And they sent me a box full. So, uh, yeah, if you want to win this, go ahead and go to my Instagram and just follow and like the post. Let's go ahead and get started with that. I'm going to show you how to program it. And then you pull this tab. So the button cell battery faces down, it looks like. Just slide it in. That's what it looks like. It's that easy. Yeah, and it doesn't fall out. You don't really need the original TV remote for your TV. You just need a, you know, a remote that controls your TV. It could be a cable TV remote, which is fine, as long as it controls your TV set. You know, the volume and the power on and off features. So let's go ahead and face it toward the um, IR sensor. So I'm gonna hit power and B. So press and hold that, and then the red light will, right there, turn solid red. And then next, we're gonna go through the whole, all the buttons that you wanna program. So first button I wanna program is power. So power, and then power. All right, now that is on. See, it recognized the code. And next one I want to program is plus, which is volume up, and then hit volume up, and solid red, which registered that, and then minus, volume down, hold that, and release, and then it's solid red again, and let's do the source input button. Press that, it'll start to flash once again. It's waiting for your command. I'm gonna press the input button, press and hold for a couple seconds, release. Now it registered. And then when you're done, and press power and B, and that's it. All right, so now we're gonna test it out. Uh, power. All right, that turns it on. All right, let's do the volume control. 
Yeah, that works good. Volume down, that works as well. All right, let's try input. Looks like it's working pretty good. That's it. If your um, Amazon Fire TV stick is not responding, you probably have to replace the batteries or reset the remote by unplugging this and putting it back in. You can even program your surround sound volume um, right here if you want it, want it to. And then this can be like your power on and off for your surround sound. If you know anyone that has Amazon Fire TV stick and that might find this video informative, and useful, go ahead and click on the share button below and share this video to them, help someone out. And if you want more how-to videos like this coming your way, subscribe to Tampa Tech, click on the subscribe link uh, or the subscribe button down below. And if you wanna check out my other how-to videos and tutorials, check out this playlist link right here. Thanks guys for watching.